As the 2024 crypto bull run heats up, we're seeing everyday people make insane gains in the markets. And the key to this is being early. Imagine if you had gotten in on any major Solana project in 2023, you could have made tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even a million dollars just for being an early adopter of new technology. For example, if you had bought WIF at $100 in December of 2023, you'd have $100,000 now. $1,000, $1 million. Or the Gito airdrop on Solana, which rewarded thousands of users five figures or more just for being early. Now, unfortunately, I can't give you a time machine to go back and capitalize on these opportunities, but I can do the next best thing, which is to talk about a brand new blockchain ecosystem that's getting a ton of traction with multiple 1,000x opportunities. I'm gonna break down exactly what it is in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And while there's a ton of opportunity to make quick money in crypto right now, this opportunity will not last forever. And the absolute best way to make life-changing money in this space is to become a blockchain developer so that you can increase your earning potential, break into the industry, create your own bots. And I can show you how to do that step-by-step from start to finish over at adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this new blockchain network that's getting a ton of steam with 1,000x plus potential. Now, obviously, nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. I don't recommend that you buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. I'm not endorsing any project that I'm talking about in this video, and I'll always disclose whether I hold a coin if I speak about it. So this new ecosystem is the base blockchain. Now, I use air quotes around new because it's not exactly brand new. I'll explain that in a second. And I also use air quotes around blockchain because it's not exactly a blockchain in and of itself, which I'll also explain. So first, let's talk about the new factor. So base is not exactly new. I talked about this on my channel when it first came out in July of 2023, showing you how to use it. And if you'd followed along, you could have made some significant gains during this early run. But also think about it. Solana itself is not exactly new, but we're really seeing the first major wave of on-chain activity where people are making a lot of money in Solana within just the past few months. And a similar thing is happening right now on base. So why is that? Well, it's first to talk about why Solana has really exploded over the past few months. So number one is you can make a lot of money there. Anytime a crypto bull market hits, you always want to find new ecosystems that are having their first major wave of adoption. Because anytime there's a new bull market, people want to speculate on the new shiny thing. In this cycle, uh, there's been a lot of speculation around meme coins. There's been a lot of farming for airdrops. A lot of that has been happening on the Solana ecosystem. At the beginning of this video, I talked about how if you bought 100 bucks worth of whiff, uh, back in December, it'd be worth $100,000 now. That's happening with lots of other Solana meme coins. And also like the Gito airdrop that I talked about at the beginning of this video where people made tens of thousands of dollars just for being early. Now, another major reason why this has happened on Solana, and it's also going to be happening on Bates, which I'll talk about in a second, is because of the low transaction fees on Solana blockchain. Now, we've seen multiple hype waves throughout each cycle in crypto on other blockchains in the past. Things like ICOs, the DeFi summer of 2020, NFTs in 2021. A lot of this happened on Ethereum, which is the first major blockchain that supported this type of activity. But the Ethereum gas fees are really high. Okay, it's expensive to do transactions on the Ethereum chain, the base chain, and it's also pretty slow. And so that's one of the reasons we've seen a lot of this really fast speculation on Solana is because people can go there, make hundreds of transactions or even thousands of transactions, and they don't really even see the cost of that show up in their wallet. And so for this same reasons, a lot of this activity is happening on base right now. You can make a lot of money on base with brand new projects like new coins and airdrops. And it's also really fast and really cheap, just like Solana, and sometimes it's even cheaper. And so first, let's talk about the new opportunity. Okay, so base definitely has the new factor. You see that it launched back in July of 2023, and you can watch what the TVL has done ever since. It's absolutely exploded to a brand new all-time high just this week, the time recording this video. And one of the major reasons for this is there's a rotation happening inside of the crypto space. Okay, so this happens in every single cycle. People get on the new early thing, all right, they make money there, and they move on to the next new early thing. So we've seen some of that with Solana, okay? People got in on this early wave of Solana. The TVL has actually peaked a little bit for this early wave. One of the reasons for that is because people are kind of taking some of their chips off the table from the Solana ecosystem and starting to explore base, which is why you see this TVL increasing right here. And one of the biggest reasons we've seen a massive uptick in this on base is because of the recent EIP 4844 network upgrade, okay? So what is that and why does that matter? Well, you can see that base has really taken off ever since March. So 
there's no coincidence there, okay? Part of that's the crypto cycle, but part of that's this major ne network upgrade. So let me explain why. So basically, base is what's called a layer two for Ethereum. So whenever you're using the base blockchain, you're actually paying the gas fees in ETH. That's why I say it's not really a blockchain in and of itself. The base blockchain is a layer two. This is on top of Ethereum. You pay the gas fees in Ether, and then those transactions are settled back on the main chain. And this network upgrade that came out for Ethereum introduced this thing called a blob, which basically made a special footprint back on the main Ethereum chain, where layer two transactions have their special spot and you can fit more data into that. And effectively what that does is reduce the transaction cost for these layer twos. And we've seen transaction fees for things like base uh, go down to, you know, one cent, even sub cent levels and be very competitive to something like Solana, which gives it, you know, a really nice chance at taking some of that market share and becoming a leading blockchain for this type of speculation. And so base has all the same marker Solana does. It's a new ecosystem. There's projects that are ripe for speculation that are making, you know, 100,000 X gains. It's fast, it's cheap, but it also has one massive trump card, which is backed by Coinbase, okay? So make sure you stick around the end of the video because I'll talk about that because there could be a much bigger future for base than people are actually anticipating than this flash in the pan that we're seeing right now. And so before we talk about that future, let's look at the opportunities that are happening right now on base, okay? So I'll compare these to the opportunities that are happening on Solana because that's the whole theme of this video. But they're going to be a lot of the same opportunities. The number one thing that people are going after are altcoins, specifically right now meme coins, because of the massive meme coin hype cycle in 2024. So base has already seen a number of breakout meme coins like Brett, okay, which is easily done 100x since it's launched, you know, just a month and a half ago. You can check out my video I just published recently on how to, you know, find 100x on meme coins. Inside that video, you can look at the techniques that I use to find, you know, meme coins and apply those same methods for the base blockchain. And so altcoin launches and meme coin launches are going to be a huge opportunity on base as this wave heats up. But also there's just lots of new projects with good utility on base, which make it a solid ecosystem. Again, you don't want to use a blockchain if it doesn't have a rich ecosystem of apps that people actually want to use, okay? So one of the number one apps is going to be Aerodrome, all right? So you can actually see on the base um, analysis here that Aerodrome is the number one application on top of the base blockchain. It's got the highest number of TVL, okay? So what is it? Well, basically, it's the leading DEX on top of the base blockchain. So the number one use case for this right now is trading, okay? And this is where most of the trading volume is happening on this specific network. So the other thing about Aerodrome is it also has a ton of opportunity to, to do, you know, yield farming. So if you want to provide uh, liquidity, all right, and park your cryptocurrency into an application like this, again, not financial advice, there's always risk associated with this. There's lots of really nice yield happening on this. You can see 74% APR, 278 APR, 472%. Th these are yields that we haven't seen really since the DeFi summer of 2020. And a lot of that activity is happening right now here on base. So another big application on top of base is friend tech. I made a video about this when it also came out in 2023. This had an initial hype wave and then died down, but we're starting to see a resurgence of activity on friend tech. Again, if you don't know what it is, it's a social application where basically you have social tokens where you can basically hold them, get access to creators. This is still a model that I think has a ton of long-term potential. It's seen initial hype wave and die off, but it's starting to get more traction and it's mostly happening on top of the base blockchain. All right, so the next major opportunity happening on base right now, which is really similar to lots of other blockchain networks, there's airdrops, okay? Basically, people going in and using applications that have not released a token yet in hopes that they will release a token, they probably will, and you'll get rewarded as an early user just for doing that. Again, we've seen multiple airdrops. People make $10,000 or more. I've done this, and that's a hot opportunity on base right now. So what are some potential projects you can watch out for in this? So the uh, first one is going to be Avantis, all right? So what is it? Well, it's a uh, leverage trading application. So anytime you're using leverage, again, this is really risky stuff. I don't necessarily recommend that you start trading on leverage if you don't know what you're doing and never risking any serious amount of money when you do that because you could lose everything, okay? But the cool thing about Avantis is you can, you know, do this for crypto, you can do it for Forex, you can do it for commodities, all right? There's a ton of potential in DeFi for base with this particular application. And there's a potential airdrop opportunity here. So the next project is Intent X. okay? So this is another decentralized derivatives platform, okay? So again, this is another project that does not have a token, all right? They also have a points program associated with this. And anytime somebody has a points program, okay, um, there's a pretty good chance that they're going to airdrop a token in the future. This is one that lots of people have their eyes set on for the base blockchain. Again, 
you have to understand with all these airdrops, there's no guarantee of any type of return on this. You have to use a little bit of guesswork, but anytime you see a points program, that's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good indication. And another project right for an airdrop is going to be Cygnus Finance. So what is this? Well, this is a fully backed stablecoin protocol. Okay. So what is this and how does it work? So a stablecoin is a cryptocurrency whose price is pegged to a fiat currency like the US dollar, for example. So said another way, uh, it's a cryptocurrency whose price does not change if you're thinking about things in terms of US dollar, okay? So how does that work? Well, people ask me this all the time, how does a stablecoin work? Well, basically, a stablecoin has to have an issuer that, that backs up what the stablecoin's actually worth. So if you go to that issuer, theoretically, you should always be able to redeem your stablecoins for US dollars or US dollar equivalents, okay? And so basically, how this one does it is a crypto back uh, stable coin. So you give it cryptocurrency and it collateralizes that cryptocurrency to create new stable coins. We've seen this with DAI. This was the first major, uh, you know, crypto collateralized stable coin uh, on any blockchain. Okay. The first of its kind, that's basically a similar type of model that Cygnus Finance is doing. Okay. So they will give you an APR for doing this. There's also a pretty good chance that they're going to airdrop a token for people who are providing collateral for this in the future to help secure the protocol for governance, all that type of stuff. And if you're an early user of this project, then you could get a handsome airdrop reward for doing so. All right, so that's an overview of some of the opportunities happening on BASE right now. Now, a minute ago, I promised you the future outlook of BASE and why this could be so much bigger than just the present moment of opportunity that we're seeing like this, you know, TVL going up right here and how this could just be the beginning for the BASE blockchain ecosystem. And that's really because um, there's an opportunity out there right now, okay? Base is a layer two for Ethereum, okay? I'm an Ethereum developer. I'm a huge believer in the Ethereum ecosystem. And, you know, Ethereum can be absolutely massive, all right? But not Ethereum by itself necessarily because it's slow and expensive. We've always known that. I've talked about it multiple times on my channel. And the whole opportunity here is to create a layer two that's fast and cheap with lots of apps, lots of usefulness on top of it so that we can actually scale blockchains for mass adoption, okay? And I'm a big believer in the Ethereum ecosystem and being a front runner for that. Now, we've seen lots of other layer twos come onto the scene, but few of them have been able to capture, you know, the users and the activity quite like Base has. And there's a huge incentive for somebody to do that, to become the leader, or maybe like the one or two layer twos that are there to rule them all, because that's probably what's going to happen. A disproportionate amount of gains are going to happen, you know, for one or two major players in this space to really scale Ethereum to its full potential. And Base has that, all right? So why? Well, one of the biggest reasons is it's backed by Coinbase, okay? The largest uh, centralized exchange in the United States. There's all kinds of capital going into develop base to continue make it, you know, better. Um, but also you have to think about it. Coinbase has all these users who are already trading on their platform that they can really easily onboard into the base ecosystem. That's one of the biggest problems we have in crypto is onboarding new users. So if you have people already on Coinbase who aren't on chain right now, it's very easy for Coinbase to basically put them on chain. They've already done this by, you know, setting up DeFi wallets for them and making it very seamless for them to make this transition, okay? Not to mention the nearly limitless resources that Coinbase has in order to start doing this, okay, and bring mass adoption for blockchain technology. Now, another thing about Base is it does not have its own token, right? So they say they're not going to have a token, but they potentially could in the future if they have the ability to get past, you know, issues of regulations in the United States, specifically around the SEC. We're seeing progress in that direction, especially now that the Bitcoin ETS have been approved. We're just scratching the surface. And if that ever, you know, happens, then we could see an explosion there as well. And finally, we're just scratching the surface with the use cases. Again, we're just seeing mostly base use for DeFi, trading, speculation, airdrops, but, you know, other applications in the future, like moving NFTs around, you know, NFTs are just the scratching the surface as well. We can do things beyond just digital pictures on a blockchain, things like intellectual property, real estate. You know, crypto gaming is a big, you know, use case for blockchain technology. And you need a blockchain that's fast and cheap for gamers to actually want to make transactions where they feel like they're not burning through capital. And base is another really great opportunity for that as well. And so this explosion of activity for this new network could just be the beginning and we could be at the starting line of something massive. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are you excited about the base blockchain? Is this thing going to the moon? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe. And while there's definitely a ton of opportunity to make some quick money early in crypto, again, this opportunity is not going to last forever. And the absolute best way to make life-changing money in this space 
forever is to double down on your technical skills, break in the industry, become a blockchain developer so you can get up and close and personal with this technology, actually make money with it, increase your cash flow, create passive income, bots, whatever your goal is, I can show you how to crush that at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.